What's up vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick and today we're going to be taking a look at the Anakin Cool Fire Ace. So once again, Anakin has created another mini mod. This time it's modeled after the Cool Fire 4. This is the Cool Fire Ace or Cool Fire Mini. Uh, love this little guy. It is absolutely adorable. Fits in your pocket really well. Very sleek looking and modern looking and I absolutely love it. Uh, the feel of this guy is great and it's just one of those perfect little stealthy vapes that you can carry around in your pocket everywhere you go. So before I get into this video, I do have to state my intent by saying that I did receive this for free from the manufacturer for the purpose of doing this video review. However, it has no monetary value to me, which means my opinions on it will remain honest and unbiased. With that being said, I would like to give a huge shout out and thank you to the people over at Inakin. They're the ones that hooked me up with this guy for the purpose of doing this video. So thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate it. So this device is available in several different color options, including blue, purple, pink, black, and silver. Of course, I've got the black one here to show you guys. Uh, the best place that I could find them online had them for $39.95 for the kit. That's right, for the kit, including the mod and the Slipstream tank. And if you ask me, that is one hell of a deal. Um, so yeah, if you want to check one out, I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to get one of these for yourself. But without further ado, let's go down to the close-up view and take a better look at this thing. So all right guys, we've got our cool fire ace in its original box, so let's just quickly take a look around the packaging, then we'll take a look at what's inside. So as you can see, just like the pebble and the chroma, very simple plain packaging, not really too much on here. Picture of the mod, uh, Inakin Slipstream Cool Fire Ace Complete Vaping System, and yeah, that's about it. Inakin on the front, or the top and the bottom. And on the back, you have some very, very simple wordage there uh, explaining what's in the box and some simple specs, etc., etc., as well as the warning. So there you go. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take it, this thing out real quick. And there we go. We've got our Cool Fire Ace with the Slipstream tank side by side there. Um, we're just going to put those aside for right now. Remove that little foam divider get on in here. We've got an instruction manual which is pretty decent. Again, it's a little bit wordy and it's kind of boring but then again uh, they do have the simple explanation of some of the key features like the battery life and all that good stuff. Uh, we've got an extra coil in the box so it comes with one extra and one in the tank and those are the 0.8 Canthal coils. You've got an extra drip tip here. This is a regular old stainless steel drip tip. You got some O-rings because O-rings and a USB cable, the obligatory USB cable that comes with pretty much every device out there and you probably have a million of. I know I do. And last but not least, you get some Inakin stickers. Hey, I love stickers. I'm definitely down for that. I've got a whole collection of them. So here is the mod itself. And as you can see, it looks almost identical to the Cool Fire 4. I know it's a little bit hard to tell with no comparison, but uh, here, let's say, for comparison's sake, here's a Von Earl compared to the uh, Cool Fire Ace. And yeah, this thing is absolutely tiny. So, but otherwise it's, it has very similar features to the other mods that we took a look at, including the Pebble and the Chroma. So with that, uh, three clicks to turn the thing on and three clicks to turn it off. Actually, mine is on currently. Uh, but when it is off, if you do happen to press the button, it will say off, click three times. That's to turn it on. So one, two, three, turns it on. You get an Inakin splash screen. And there you go, 35 watts. Uh, that's what I have mine set to. You can go up to 40 watts with this device here. Very, very, very simple. Uh, two button click, if you click both of the buttons at the same time, gives you the puff counter and then it'll switch over to uh, upside down, so left-handed mode. So you can use it like that. If you click the fire button and I believe it's the down button, the same time uh, you can switch it to voltage mode so you can actually change it by voltage instead of wattage so 
Um, yeah, if you guys want to throw back to when you used to do variable voltage, there you go. To switch it back, all you have to do is hold down the plus button as well as the fire button, and that's how you can change it back into wattage mode. And you can adjust it by holding down the plus or minus. When the screen starts flashing like that, you can change it in 0.5 watt increments. But I like mine right at 35 watts with the old slipstream tank on there. Here you can see the USB, micro USB charging port. Uh, I like that they put it on the front of the device rather than the bottom because then I can stand it up and charge it, which is a really nice thing. Um, I've been using this thing pretty heavily uh, for the past couple of weeks and there's not a ding on it if my camera would actually focus back on the device. There we go. Uh, but yeah, there's really nothing uh, you know physically damaged about this device even though I've been kind of going pretty hard on it for the past couple of weeks. Uh, the bottom might end up getting a little bit scratched up here and there, but that's just normal wear and tear. So here you can see the 510 connection and it is actually a spring-loaded 510. Uh, there is a little bit of give there which is kind of nice because it doesn't just have to use the slipstream tank you can use it with whatever you want on there. So here you can see the actual fire button itself and the little power symbol there actually glows green, yellow, or red depending on your battery level. Uh, let me just see if I can show you guys that now just by kind of putting my hand over there. There you go, you can kind of see it glowing green there a little bit. Uh, that means it's between 100 and 50% charged. After 50%, it starts going to the yellow, which means it's almost time to charge it. And when it gets to the red, it's pretty much dead. Uh, you only get a few minutes with it uh, glowing on red before it actually dies, unless you're on a very, very low power setting. But otherwise, uh, under normal practical use, uh, this thing is almost no good after about 15% battery. You really, really got to get to the charger ASA. AP. But with that, we have attached our slipstream tank, which of course you guys know that I love. Um, I don't know what it is about this tank, but it's so simple and it's so elegant and it just functions great. Um, the only real thing that bugs me about this overall design is the fact that it leaves this little tiny shoulder right here, this little tiny uh, overhang uh, where the tank just doesn't sit very flush. And um, I, I just wish they would have made it completely flush because I think that would have given it a little bit more of a finished look to it. But otherwise, it's an absolutely gorgeous design. Um, very, very nice styling, uh, a lot nicer than the Pebble. So let's real quick give you guys some specs before we go back to the main screen. The operating voltage is three volts to seven and a half volts. The operating wattage is six watts to 40 watts. The battery that's built into it is a 1300 milliamp hour battery. Uh, it can handle 0.2 ohm and higher coils and it has a built-in micro USB 5 volt charging adapter right here. So there you go. Let's go back to the main screen, have a quick vape on this thing, and we'll talk about it some more. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up section of the video. Now let's talk about my personal thoughts about this device, some pros, some cons, and whether or not it's worth purchasing. Starting it off today with the pros, and my first pro is that, yeah, it's small, lightweight, and compact. And that may sound almost identical to the Pebble review because, well, let's face it, these devices are very, very similar. But there are a few minor differences, which we will get into in a little bit here. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick, an another size comparison. I've got my pebble right here, uh, and it, as you can see, it's about a centimeter shorter than the Cool Fire Ace or Cool Fire Mini. Um, yeah, not much difference in height there. Uh, the Cool Fire just a little bit taller. But other than that, yeah, it's very small, it's lightweight, fits in your pocket really nice, it's compact, all that good stuff. But these are very, very similar devices. That's why this uh, review is going to sound very similar to that one. My second pro is that it hits great for a 0.8 ohm coil. Um, yeah, these coils are point eight canthal that come with it. They are available also in stainless steel 0.5 ohm. However, I prefer the canthal coils because I get a longer battery battery life out of it and I seem to get a better flavor. I don't know if it's just me or I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or anything like that, but I seem to get better flavor off of the regular old canthal coils. Um, 
I have tried the 0.5 on temp control in the chroma tank and it seemed to work a little bit better like that. Um, I am definitely one to use stainless steel wire in regular wattage mode and for some reason it didn't taste as good to me in regular wattage mode uh, in comparison to the normal canthal coils. So with that I will say the canthal coils for these are great, they're wonderful, they're just exactly the hit that I like to get out of these slipstream tanks and I'm going to continue using them. My next pro is that it's great for short trips. Yeah, I've taken this thing with me on a few little short trips, about 45 minutes each way, and it definitely stood up to the test. Um, anything longer than that, however, the tank tends to run dry, so I would suggest if it's a quick errand or a short trip or something like that, then you can go and grab your Cool Fire Ace. If it's anything longer than that, then you're going to need a bigger tank. So, there you go. Uh, that's what I would have to say about that. But for me personally, it definitely passes the short little errand kind of run to the grocery store kind of test. Next up we have, it looks nicer than the Pebble. And I hate to say this because I do love the Pebble as well, uh, but it looks a lot sleeker and nicer than the Pebble itself. The Pebble, just kind of square, boxy, and boring. And, and the screen's good on the Pebble, but then again, just there's something appealing to me about this thing here. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's just super nice looking. It's very ergonomic and I just prefer it overall. And my final pro is that it has a very sleek feel and I love the fit and finish on it. Really, this kind of goes along with the previous pro here, but uh, I absolutely love the curves on this thing. It just feels great in the hand. I love that the fire button kind of goes up over the top. Uh, I can tend to, I tend to push it with my thumb down from the top and it still hits and that's the best part about it because I can hit it like this if I want to. I can hit it like this if I want to and there's really no wrong way to use this thing and I cannot say the same about the pebble itself but uh, I guess as a kind of uh, postscript to this whole thing uh, the price you can't go wrong with the price uh, 40 bucks for a whole kit and even if it's a gift for a loved one or someone in your life that's a smoker and you want to give them a mod to get started and you know, you just don't want to spend a whole heck of a lot of money. This is a great way to go. Honestly, in comparison to some of the, even the pod systems, some of the pod systems out there are even more expensive than a full kit for the Anakin Cool Fire Ace. So just kind of put that into a whole like perspective there and think about that uh, if you are planning on buying someone a mod. <laughs> Moving on to some cons, I don't really have a whole heck of a lot to say because there's so much I love about this device and not a lot that I don't, but I did come up with a few little gripes here, and uh, my first being there's a slight ridge uh, where the tank sits at the 510 connection. Uh, you might have seen that in the close-ups, I did make mention of it, but there's just this little tiny slight ridge right there and it just bugs the crap out of me. Every time my finger runs across there, I feel it and I just want something that's nice and flush and just fits perfectly seamless and that just takes away from the whole thing. I could see why they did it. It might have been an actual design choice on their part because that way if you do put it down on the uh, side here, it won't uh, scratch up the tank or dent it or anything like that. It won't break the glass, um, but it just takes away from the design aspect of it, and that just kind of bugs me. It's such a small, little, stupid thing to complain about, but I just felt like mentioning it. My next con is that it's not as much power as the Pebble. Now, the Cool Fire Ace might look better overall as far as design and aesthetics goes, but the, the uh, little Pebble here definitely takes a cake when it comes to power. This one being 50 watts, this one being 40 watts. Watts. Not that I think that it needs uh, 50 watts, but I feel like uh, if you have the technology, why not use it and put it in the Ace just because it is a little bit bigger than the Pebble and I feel like they have the, kind of the technology and ability to bump this thing up to 50 watts, but they only left it with 40 and that's kind of a, you know, a minor nitpicky thing, I suppose. Uh, again, I don't think it needs 50 watts, but I feel like some people out there are going to be hemming and hawing over the 
fact that it only has 40 watts. And my final con is that there's a slight gap when I'm using my Serpent Mini. Now, uh, as I stated in my earlier uh, review of the Pebble, I really, really like using the Serpent Mini tank on these devices just because um, you get to use your own coils, you get to build your own coils in this guy here. Um, but there's a sizable gap. I wouldn't even call it slight. I would say it's a good maybe a millimeter of a gap and it doesn't sound like a lot but when you look at it and you can see light through it um, that just really gets to you after a while it doesn't take away from the performance it still fires up and is usable however i feel like it just kind of takes away from the overall look and feel of the whole device and uh yeah that can be kind of a, a pain in the butt as far as i'm concerned So the big question is, would I purchase this device if I did not receive it for free for the purpose of doing this video? And my answer would be yes. In fact, I might actually pick this one over the Pebble simply because I love the size, shape, form factor, all that good stuff. Yeah, I know the Pebble's got 10 more watts, but at the end of the day, I really don't need that much wattage with a 0.8 ohm coil. I get plenty enough vapor production at 35 watts. Um, don't really use it ever at 50 watts to begin with, so why bother? You know, if you're going to get a nice sleek looking device that's really really small and concealable and just great to carry around in your pocket all day without you know weighing down your pants or anything like that I definitely think the cool fire ace would be high up on my last list in fact i think i would put this ahead of some of the pod systems for uh recommended devices for people that are looking to quit smoking i mean for 40 bucks you really can't go wrong i really would highly suggest you guys go and pick one of these up if you got a couple of bucks kicking around and you want a great little travel companion so of course links are in the description if you want to check it out for yourself so that about does it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this of course leave me comments in the box below about anything you want to discuss down there i would love to talk to you guys also i have advocacy links in the description below make sure you check them out and fight for your right to vape and check me out on my different social media sites i've got twitter and instagram make sure you follow me on there like my page on facebook check out my snapchat and if you want to give me a couple bucks on Patreon. That would be awesome as well. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, vape on. That same thing happened in my last video.